office is somewhere in the upper levels of the saloon. To find out what he's planning, our best bet is to plant a bug. Needless to say, we must remain undetected. Conveniently, I discovered they're looking for a new bartender. So I'll go in, undercover, and control the situation by introducing the patrons to my special homebrew sarsaparilla. Your mustache looks... bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. You'll need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up, they'll be seeing double until they crash hard. Once you launch the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. Watch your back, pal. <clears throat> this place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left step. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the sarsaparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much sarsaparilla I have left. Something tells me it's going to take every drop. was a good match, but not this good. These guys are just thirsty. They're crazy. Those big guys look like they're going to need more than one drink. Well, 
it is my break! Let's hope the supply outlasts the demand! I can't quit now, they'll tear me apart! are still awake. I need to be careful. I just need to stay off the floor.
This casino is as crooked as a pub. further to that vent. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Listen up! My partners got an ace up his sleeve. And we're about to go all in. This trump card's going to crush Cooper and the rest of his clean jumping gang. We's going to learn a mute dog yank a rattlesnake's tail, lest you're looking to me. Get bit! <laughs> then, we are going to finish loading up the train and haul our sweet little kisters out of this one-horse town. Once we get that loot back into present day, I, Toothpick, going to be worth millions! <laughs> uh, oopsie. Dang it, boss! Would you watch where you're pointing that thing? Are you talking to me? Whoa, boss, whoa! I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean nothing! One of you to break out the dust cloud once in a while, huh? Take a gander at this office. It's disgrace. It's so dusty, I can barely stand it. What do you take me for, huh? The chinchilla? Hmm. Do I have to do everything around here, huh? I make the plans. I steal the gold. I even brought you boys what? The, the chrome case there. What's that? What? Ah, oh, look, I know. There ain't no lawn to play on. It's not my fault, right? I dearly love to break out the old golf clubs, but this whole town is one big sand trap! But wait, you hear me crying at night like a baby? No! How's about you people start showing some gratitude around here, right? And doing a little dusting! <sighs> I tell you, is that too much to ask from you? Now, boys, I know I've aired out my lungs at your... Not good. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. Sweet jumping jackrabbit! That's no lady, that's Carmelita! What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Nobody can get there faster than you. I'll grab Sly and Murray, and we'll meet you in the van. Just get going! <laughs>
only too happy to get rid of this one. Eey, her tongue sharp enough to cut leather. <laughs> Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear, when I get out of this... No sense fretting about that, little lady. Mm, cry, cry, little tear, yes. Just enjoy the ride! <laughs> Hit that barrier! Okay! You can stop anytime!
Stay on the road! Any road! I need to blow that barrier away! Ma'am, why I'm Tennessee Kid. Don't tell me you're a Cooper, right? I knew it. Yes, ma'am. Bentley told me you stop calling me ma'am. The name's Inspector Fox. Wait, Bentley's here? Well, looks like they're right behind us. Carmelita, I'm glad you're okay. Why, that conniving little much obliged for a helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison, and I'll be back for you, all in lickety split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, nobody kidnaps Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away with it. I reckon that also includes tying her to a runaway stage. Watch it. I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Fox. Now, boys, I know I've heard out my lungs at you all about this already. But some of you ain't uh, heard it rightly, cause your lingo is uh, still stale as Mondo Cornbread. Shoot, the ways you talk now ain't worth a blood nickel. Ah, it sticks in my craw, ouch, like I swallowed a horny toad backwards. Ooh, that must hurt. We're in what? The old west now, people, huh? This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail, so I can wring his neck. Wee, you are feisty. You remind me of this one little gal who... So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. Thank you. 
Miss Carmelita, you didn't forget how to use that pistol, did you? Not a chance. I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. And I can press and hold the L1 button to focus my aim. Let's reach the sector, Tennessee! Wait to give that ring tail a piece of my mind. These barrels are full of TNT. Better blast it before we get blown to smithereens. Got me into this mess. Nice shooting, Carmelita. How about less sweet talk and more action? <laughs> Tennessee, it looks like you'll have to go on ahead. I'll find another way there. Some dopes are still looking for a fight. Like we got company, Miss Carmelita. And not for friendly. I'll keep the raft still, and you blast those dang jackalopes. Why don't you guards just get out of my way? We got attackers to the left. Maybe you should just focus on the mission, Tennessee. Looks like we got company, Miss Carmelita, and not the friendly kind. I'll keep the raft still, and you blast those dang jackalopes! Why don't you guard to get out of my way? We got attackers to the left! Maybe you should just focus on the mission, Tennessee. Ready, Tennessee! your pistol on that river gate or we're going swimming! Now that's what I call straight shoot! Those steers up there mean business! Huh, that switch looks kinda important.
are messing with the wrong outlaw. Black shoot rats in a saddlebag! I'll stay here and cover you. All right, who wants to eat some land? with the wrong outlaw. Alright, alright. Shoot! Time's 
are wasted. Pick it up, Tennessee. Shucks, these galoots are not smart. Tennessee, just one more lock. Could've done that in my sleep. Sometimes these boys do get a mind irritating. Yeah. Looks like some dopes are still looking for a fight. I hope you boys got a backup plan. should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Why, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, oh, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good lion, ooh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right off his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market. But I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? The flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. 
But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. And another thing. No more whistling. I don't want to hear no guards whistling for no reason, no how, no way. I don't care if it's for a pretty girl on a sunny day in springtime. La 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 la. Don't want to hear it. Is that clear? Why? Because it aggravates my ear holes. Gives me headache to beat the band. I try using them with the uh, earplug dimmigigigigis, whatever. But they don't work. I even tried growing my inner ear hair out big. Nothing works. So, any guard I catch whistling from now on will get a permanent job shining my train tracks, which are very long. 